Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! Assholeconsulting.com, how you guys doing? Uh, Aaron writes, different Aaron, not me Aaron. Another Aaron has sent in this request. Hey Aaron, could you do a video response to this? He provides a link below. And this is a link to the Drunken Peasants uh, video response to one of my videos a couple of years ago. Uh, they title it, Mental Illness is All Fake. And so right off the bat, it's a lie. <clears throat> I did not say all mental illness is fake. But to give you the background on this, uh, I did a video about how basically, I was just sick and tired of everyone faking that they have a mental illness. Coming, oh, we have ADHD, we have Asperger's, we have autism, I'm bipolar, I'm this, I'm that. And the entire premise of the video uh, was, I was calling bullshit on it. I'm saying, no, you don't. You don't. So oh, some people might actually have <clears throat> a genuine mental disorder. Uh, but everyone who uses it as a handicap or a crutch or a... Uh, a means by getting attention. I was, I was uh, BS. And this is <clears throat> simply a, a perpetuation of the victimhood arms race. Uh, where, oh, I have, pick your trait you were born with. I am this color skin. I'm oppressed. I am female. I'm oppressed. And that works if you're male. I'm sorry. That works if you're female or a minority with a physically identi visually identifiable characteristic. But what it's, it's so predictable, such low-hanging fruit. Uh, how do you, if you're a prissy little spoiled white kid from the suburbs that had everything handed to you, how do you claim disability? How do you get in on the victimhood politics? How do you cash in and get preferential treatment, government aid, and the poor babies and the attentions? Well, enter in, oh, everyone has mental disorder. Oh, I got this. I got that. I got... And uh, again, there, there are some people who have genuine mental illness, but especially with the millennials, uh, no. Yeah, it's hard to tell what percentage of people have problems with it. Uh, but now I am highly skeptical, highly skeptical, uh, skeptical of anyone where they say, I have a, and especially, you know, if you're Rain Man and you got autism, yeah, okay, I believe you. Oh, well, little Jimmy has ADHD. No, he doesn't. He just doesn't have a father around. You know, how many of these mental disorders would go away? Uh, if any of you have dated girls in their 20s, oh, they all have bipolar disorder. And believe no, no, you're just, a, you're just a grade A bitch, and you're hiding behind the mental disorder to excuse unacceptable behavior. Some people, uh, in the video I talk about it, I had a, a student who claimed that she had, uh, she was on disability, social security disability. Was it ADHD or something? Uh, and Which means she couldn't work. If you're on disability, you can't work. Oh, but she could take my ballroom dance class. She could do fun stuff, but she can't show up on time to go and do a job. So this is what uh, the main complaint of, uh, of my video was. Now, I have since taken it down <clears throat> because you just know the way that uh, society is going, people are going to file complaints, yeah, it's discriminatory and all that other stuff. So I'm like, you know what? I'm not even going to bother fighting. I'm going to take it down. Choose your battles. But the, this original video that they did as a response to it um, is with, I forget, uh, the Amazing Atheist co-host. It doesn't matter. And so they go through, and you, know, you want my response to their response. It, it's It's... Low brow, low grade, typical. Oh my god! <laughs> he said, "I don't think that's a disease." And it, I'm like, "Yeah, I remember a long time ago someone sent it to me, and I kind of dismissed it then, and I'm dismissing it now." I just kind of like, "That's that's it." There's like no core. There's no validity to what I'm saying. I mean, if you actually have a mental disorder, don't you kind of get upset and pissed off when people cry wolf uh, and abuse it? And I don't, I mean, what is there? They, they didn't say anything of substance or value. There's nothing to really respond. Um, the the amazing, I don't know who this other guy is, the amazing, amazing atheist, you could just look at his background. I don't have to go into him. We're not going to talk about bananas. Uh, I think he might have taken a personal offense. Certainly many of his viewers did. 
<laughs> because a lot of them either actually have mental illness, in which case it's legitimate, okay, but I'm going to guess 80% fake it. Because that's all they got in life. It's like, I got this. Because they're too lazy to do anything else. I have this, this I have this thing. I have that disorder. And, it, and that's, that's, what, that's what I'm trying to prevent against. Is people would have normal lives, could go out and do normal things, maybe even great things. And instead they go the easy route. Like, well, I could work hard and become an engineer or a programmer or do something great with my life. Or I could just go the easy route, get all this attention or claim I belong to Group X. That's all this really is. And in this particular case, the tribalism, the, uh, uh, the traitor characteristic is I have this made up mental disorder. I have this... Mental, and, and I need attentions and special wubby doveys and participation trophies and everything. Uh, and so when you point that out, someone with a <clears throat> actual mental illness probably would understand it. But the response was so vehement and so angry. It was like, oh, I nailed it on the head. You know, you're not going to catch flack unless you're over Dresden, unless you're over the target. And so uh, the, the response, I, I, there's, there's nothing, this isn't like Jordan Peterson made a point-counterpoint response. So it's very, no, let me drink. It's two dopes. It's the Jerry Springer show. Yes, I am. And, and to show you how low-brow, uh, low-level the argument is, look at them. There's my counter. Right? Look at them. Yes, physically look at them. Yum, yum. There's my argument. Don't tell me people aren't faking mental illness. Don't tell me it's not an attention ploy. Don't tell me it's part, not part of the perpetual victim arm race. Don't tell me, don't tell me, also to show you another example so you can see it's, it's not just uh, mental illness or a trait you were born with. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm this week's new flavor of gender that just was made up. You know, God almighty, even the, the, the gay, uh, lesbian, bi community is getting sick and tired of the added acronyms, I mean, the real ones, the ones who aren't faking it, you know, actually people who are non-binary. They're like, stop it with this 31 flavors of gender. What? No. <laughs> Knock it off. But that's, an, it's just, it's attention whoring. That's all this is. You know, hard to put a number on it, but I'd say it's around 80 to 90% of millennials. And not of the 12, those who claim to have it. I'd say 9 out of 10 instances, it's being faked. It's not real. Uh, so I, you know, uh, you know, Aaron, what's your response to poop and fart jokes? I say, well, I think, I think like Saturday Night Live, some seventh graders might find it funny, uh, or might find it intellectually stimulating. But I, there's nothing really, really to say. I, I, I don't know. It's you know, you know watch the, oh, he said that funny. <laughs> oh my God! Like he just, he, and then you can go ahead and watch. Oh God, all, all mental, oh, it's all fake. And then, oh, you, you purposely did not listen. And then, um, yeah, I don't know, I wish, what, what do you want me to say? Like, what do you, what do you you're expecting me to have like this Henry Kissinger-esque uh, interaction. Uh, and we're talking with people that are, they're kindergartners. I, so, anyway, uh, that's it. I don't even know if the drunken peasants are around anymore. I think they broke up. I listen to the the Dick Show, and um, surprise, surprise! Maybe they actually do have mental illnesses. Maybe <laughs> maybe they can't function in a normal society. All right, that's it. Questions, answers, ansoconsulting.com. You guys got questions?